Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've built this WooCommerce shop site here. Um, this is part of a course we did online if you want to take the course. I've got a discount coupon below this video if you want to learn how to build this particular site. We used a, a free template and a free WordPress build to build this site here. It's a clothing store with all kind of different things and accessories and bits and pieces. What we're going to do in this series of video, we're going to install a plugin called Elementor, which will allow us to build extra pages. We've got plenty of pages on here. But what it's going to do is allow us to build real custom style pages. So follow along with this series and we'll show you how to build some great things using the Elementor plugin. Okay guys, today we're going to make this cool full width video background section here. Really easy to do with Elementor. So let's get started. Let's go to the page where we were. And go down. Obviously we're going to create a new section. This is where we finished yesterday. Let's create a new section. A little red circle there. I want it to be just a single column so I'm going to select that. Inside there I'm just going to put something for a moment we'll probably change it in a minute so let's go back to our little matrix up here and grab a little heading. I just want to put something in there so it's got a little bit of depth so it's, it's deep. Let's put that in the middle and let's make it say something like In the middle, let's go to our typography and make it a lot bigger. And leave that text as it is color wise for the moment, and probably change it to white in a little while. But I want to make this pretty big, yeah, something like that. Weight pretty heavy, and I want it to be capitalized, uppercase. There we go, that'll do fine. Now, let's just giving it give it a bit of padding top and bottom so we've got a bit of height there. Or I guess we could do that on our section itself. So if we go back to the section tab, the blue one in the middle here, just click on it anywhere. We'll have our selection up here. Let's give it a bit of padding. Let's say 100 top and bottom. That way there'll be a bit of space for our video to show behind this heading here. So I want to uncheck this one because I only want to do top and bottom. I don't want to do right and left. So I'm going to give it 100 top. And I'm going to give it 100 on the bottom. There we go, fantastic. All right, well, let's go to our style tab now. And what we want to do is click on the little background video right here, little video icon right there. And you want to get a YouTube video. Now, all I've done is I've gone to YouTube, I've browsed, I've put in fashion in the search, and I found this Versace one right here which is fine so I want to get the URL probably could copy that but I know for safety what I do is hit the share button and use the URL that they give you here just hit the copy button it's a shorter URL okay and let's go back and put that URL in there okay at the moment it's going to start, I don't want it to say Versace right there, which is at the beginning. So we can skip that by saying start time, let's say 30 seconds. Hopefully it will be o over that now. Yeah, that's fine. Straight into some fashion. And end time. Yeah, let's say. Gosh. 120 seconds, two minutes. If anybody's going to watch it that long, unlikely. Play once, no, I want it to completely do it again. I'm going to put a, you can put any image in there you want for a fallback image. And what a fallback image is, is on some devices, it won't play a video. On quite a lot of mobiles, it won't play, play the video background. So it'll fall back and play 
and show you an image whatever you've got here so if you've got light writing make sure you've got a dark image if you've got dark writing make sure you've got a light image for your fallback I actually just took a screenshot of this video just made it full screen took a screenshot and that's what I'm gonna use so if we go there background fallback image see if I can find this image now I'll just drag it over and insert so we've got that background image just in case the video fails for some reason so that was pretty easy really that you can stop here if you want to um, I'll show you what I did I just used a couple of dividers to show off this section a little bit um, put these dividers on top of it there you could probably actually do that with borders let's try doing that with some borders No, because they'll be too long so you want to have dividers okay let's do it with dividers first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this white this white text color there we go and I might take the opacity down just a little bit so you can see just a little bit of what's going on through there so you've got a little sense of motion I want it to remain fairly white but something like that that's fine okay now what I'm gonna do is go back to my little matrix I'm gonna grab one of these dividers right here and I'm gonna plop it in on top of my text right there there it is now it says solid weight that's how wide it is I'm gonna make it about two picks you can either type it in or slide it I'm gonna make it white Yeah, I think that will do. Now, width-wise, I don't want it the whole width. I want it to be about the same width as our text right there. So let's center align it for a start. Because if I leave it on the left, well, I'll show you what happens when I leave it on the left. It just gets shorter from the right there. So let's center align it, and it's almost there. Might even. make that three pixels yeah something like that and we can make it closer by using some negative margin if we want to let's go to the advance I'm gonna to go to margin I'm gonna uncheck I'm gonna give the bottom a negative margin so it goes closer to our writing there we got let's equal it out as 20 great now I'm going to duplicate that Got a little pencil right click hit the duplicate and drag one of them it doesn't matter which one because they're both exactly the same down to the bottom there now I need to go into this bottom one and do the opposite of what we did on the margin there so make sure I'm on the right one go to the advanced so I need to give the top a margin of minus 20 there we go that should be equal on both sides let's just give that a quick save update and preview our changes let's go down to where we were and there it is there's a a nice video section background what I'm gonna do I missed out one sort of thing right there let's go back there it's all great and everything but I think the actual video is just too clear I want this to stand out a little bit more so let's go back and use a, a, an overlay so let's have a look here make sure we're on the section icon right there and here we'll find background overlay okay you can have different ones on normal and hover I'm gonna have just one common one I want a regular I want a color I'm gonna make it a dark blue color 
In fact, I guess I ought to use the blue that we've been using all this time. So let's see what this. Let's just go here and inspect one of these. Right, let's inspect this. And there's our color. So let's copy that blue color. Get our inspector down. I have Google Chrome right here, and it comes with a Google Chrome inspector. Just right click on any element you want to inspect and hit the inspect. Okay, let's go back and let's put that color in here. There we go. And there's that blue. That's pretty good, actually. I mean that stands out maybe even a little too much perhaps we'll take the opacity down a bit on this one I mean we want to have some color in there but I want I think that's gonna do it fine so there you are that's just using the background overlay option in our section module let's update that and take another look well before we do I think it might have auto updated it for us let's have a look yeah that's got it on there already it's auto updated it but that's fine it's got a bit of a blue background there you can read that section coming soon fine of course you can add whatever you want call to action buttons anything you like so i hope you've enjoyed that how to add a video section background with elementor really easy really effective thing to do too if you've enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our youtube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our youtube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day